Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Starbase. So we're here at the uh, the shop area here. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff here. So this is where you can sell your, your extra stuff here. Uh, so basically over here, um, you got your, your storage here. So this is, I think, ores. I think both of them are ores. One side's ores. This one is just everything else pretty much. So your tools and stuff like that. You can get rid of old stuff like, hey, I have this old fuel rod here and... Uh, coolant cell and things like that, but uh, and then on here. This is just ores again So this is just so you can ex uh, sell your extra stuff. Uh, you can also there's these ore towers I believe I don't know if we can see any from here, but I believe they also can be uh, I think that might be an ore tower um, Yeah, I think those are yeah So I think if you go up there, there's a terminal where you can sell them and you can just do them from your ship or from your uh, your uh, station so pretty simple pretty sweet so you, we had a tour of this a long time ago pretty similar to what you saw before uh, except now they're just like more like tour places yeah, there, there's no terminals here uh, since it's all done by the players which that's what we're going to look at today so the auction house how do you open the auction house there's actually an auction house terminal somewhere in this place but the easiest way to deal with it is anywhere on a station as long as you're not sitting in your cockpit like in a chair and stuff you can hit your comma key and you can bring up the auction house here so you can go and buy and sell and whatnot so uh, if we check out uh, let's see machinery here for example you can see all the different things so like if you need uh, a new fuel rod here for example this is the best place to to grab some uh, early on uh, so you could sell some of your ores for some of the credits to uh, the shop or you can go ahead and sell them on the auction house as well so you can throw them on the auction house like this uh, you can even go ahead and um, right click them and do them in like a, a bulk type thing so you can say okay I want to sell 20 of these onto the auction house and they'll do 20 at once just make sure you're pricing them as 20 and then you can put a price on here and set to whatever you want which that's pretty cool actually um, so if I were to say oh I want to sell it for 5,000 there you go that's you know worth 100k uh, or which hopefully it goes back. Yeah, it did. <laughs> you always worry about early access games or alpha games like that. It's like, ah. Um, but yeah, it works really well there. And uh, so I wanted to show you some crafting too. Um, let's see. Is there anything worth uh, buying anyways on the, the market? Sometimes I like paying attention because some people sell things a little too low. You know, maybe they're just trying to get rid of it. So for example, fuel rods, I think you can vend them at like 14-ish and something probably so I've seen people sell like the fuel rod at a thousand so you could buy a bunch of them and sell them the only downside is if you do that they're not usually worth it so 1398 I don't think that we'll see we'll just buy one at 1398 so if we go over here um, they'll show up in your list I have an empty fuel rod here it is uh, so yeah you can actually sell this for a bit more but obviously at 1403 I mean that's not worth my time but the person who put it on the auction house they're losing money because when you put that on the auction house you're actually so here I'll, I'll, I'll buy one and I'll show you how it works so um, let's go back to parts here uh, machinery and then we'll go to the fuel rod here so this is a you know cheaper price for us so 1350 so obviously you can make a little over 50 credits by selling it but we'll go to the sell now here and then we'll grab the right one I think that's not the right one yeah no that one won't let it even yeah there you go that's the empty one there you go so here's the the thing so you can see 13 whatever so we can say 1300 for example and somebody will buy it anyways but look at that my profit is 1170 so I've actually lost money by throwing this onto the auction house itself but it should sell relatively fast either somebody's gonna buy a fuel rod for their own ship or it's just gonna sell fast because uh, somebody might buy it just to vendor it um, but just gives you an idea how that system works and when you when you do sell it it should pop up at the bottom right here uh, with a, a message here so pretty cool actually I really I do like the auction house it could be a bit better though I think uh, being able to list say 50 stacks of an item you should be allowed to buy say one of those 50 you know whatever stack so I'd like more of a fluid better like market system rather than the, the way it is now um, also a lot of items are actually not listed on the auction house because there is not a working category so for example um, crafting table there's no crafting table in here so crafting table exists you can build it you can throw it on the auction house but you can't actually list the crafting table on here uh, or sorry you, you can't actually buy the crafting table on you can't use any of the search functions there you go 
bank sold. So there's the, the money there. Um, and for example, station platform, somebody in our, uh, company, uh, made one, but they, they wanted to list it, but it doesn't show up either. So, um, it just shows you, you know, obviously there's some hit and miss there, but as time goes on, this auction house will get very, very populated and it'll get more, uh, more, more listings and things will show up. I even have some listings here from before, so you can cancel, uh, old auctions as well if you want. So let's just do that anyways, might as well. I had a lot of these to be fair, but that's fine. These aren't really used as much and they're not as common, so that's why. But there you go. So that is the uh, yeah the auction house and market system, which is pretty cool. Um, outside of this place, you can actually go ahead. I already did this, but basically you can do like a, you can delete this if you want. But you go here and oops, I click this and we click bind. And then there you go. And you can transfer right now. You can transfer around the stations and you don't lose anything in your inventory. I don't believe so. Um, that will change later on once they have more of the, uh, they're going to do like a, a revamp on that, that those systems later on. So that shouldn't be uh, the case for forever, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the crafting table. So we've already been here before, but let's go ahead and spawn ourselves a ship. So is this the ship spot? Yeah, here it is. So one thing I've learned is you don't go, actually we can just fly there. Um, we, we don't, uh, so if you guys don't know, if you didn't watch the end of my last episode, it got a little derpy with the build hall here, the easy build. One thing that we definitely learned that you need to know and understand is that you don't fly your ship into the easy build because there's a chance that it will screw with it, consume it. Basically during my last episode, I actually lost my ship. I had to delete it. I had to redo one of the tutorials, the repair tutorial to just get another one. Uh, when you're doing the repair tutorial, when you're clicking on uh, to do it, basically it'll pop up with a timer, but it's only there for like a split second. So you can spam the tutorial like again to go back to that position to bring it up again. But basically it's a very messy little system, but it'll tell you uh, how long till you can actually get a new ship. It's I believe every two hours is supposed to be the, the normal number. Um, this is actually worth it. We just got ourselves an engine, I think. I needed a new one anyway, so come on. Why are we flying away? There you go. There you go. P, and that's mine now, I think. Oh, darn it. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Every time I do the P thing, a lot of times I don't actually get the item. Unless, oh, because it's modular, maybe you can't. Darn it. You know what? I might have it, but it might not be because it's a module, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's one that you can't see on here. So I might have picked it up. I might have not. Um, sometimes I find it better to drag it into your inventory rather than hit P to pick it up. Because sometimes I notice things just vanish and I don't know if I actually got it or if it's gone. But it's kind of fun because it's a, a good place to visit the easy build outside. Some people are having problems with their ships or maybe they just demolish it or whatever. And so parts go flying and sometimes it's worth picking up and just grabbing some free stuff um you know a lot of times it's not worth it you can go out mining faster and earn credits whatever so if you're doing it for that so if you hit e on this guy oh he's fresh out of the thing so you can't e on this yet oh there oh it worked for a second there but it's not working okay there you go so let's hit uh so if you zoom in with your mouse cursor and then you go into your inventory you can actually take it and drag it from the main world and then put it in your inventory Though this one's not doing that, so I'm guessing I can actually do that right now, but... There we go. Let's uh, hit P. No, that one's being... Oh, it's... Oh, it's empty. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It actually is giving a message why. Oh, yes. Here's more thrusters. Yes, 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 yes. I'm really, really hoping these aren't attached, and I really want to take these. To me, these are, would be worth having, unless they're welded. No, they're not. Okay, so let's do that zoom in, and let's see if I can drag it in my inventory, potentially. Why not? Why not? It disappeared, too, didn't it? Yeah. So, oh no, there they are. Darn it. I want them, but I don't think I can use them, unfortunately. What you could do is bolt them to your ship. So, if I go and get my ship uh, out and come out of here, I could probably grab them then. So, maybe I should try that. It's a bit of a nuisance, but if they're still there, then we, we've got ourselves some free engines. Mostly for the fact that I can't craft engines yet, so... Okay, gravity on with G. There you go. We'll try it anyways here. 
Uh, but yeah, you want to spawn your ship here. You don't want to land it in here. I've had issues with landing it in here. I've never had issues with spawning it within here. So that is my suggestion. Whether or not you want to take it, that's up to you. But uh, yeah, there you go. And we're going to change our fuel rod here in a minute too because my fuel rods are empty. I don't know if we can even last this long before... Oh, no, it's giving me the 600. That's good enough for me. That's all I need. Hopefully. Okay, so my hope is to actually take this. And mount it on here. So we'll zoom out of here. And then there's hard points on here. So as far as I know, you should be able to... Clip this on here. So how do I do this... Oh, put C back on, and then you have to use your Z key, I guess, here. Y. Um, how do I flip this around? Sorry. Oh, there you go. So we want to do, we're going to hold uh, Z, I think. Z. And then a bit of Y. Oh, y. Yeah, we'll bring Y over here. And then a bit of X here. And then a bit more Z here. And there we go. So that should clip on there, but it's not on the hard point like completely. So I actually don't know if it's going to work correctly. I don't know if it has to be snapped on there correctly or how that works to be fair. As far as I know, these pieces are supposed to line, but it ain't, it ain't lining. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There, where, there you go. I think we got it. Okay, so let's get our bolt tool here. And then hopefully we can... There you go. I don't know if that's actually connected or not, but if it is, we just got ourselves a free thruster. And we could get another one potentially on the bottom as well. So look at that. Oh, I have durability error though. That's a problem. It's probably because it's not actually in a, a frame, so we might have to fix that later. But this is more trial and error than anything right now. So let's try this again. Let's zoom out so we can play around with this. So we're going to go and use the Hold on the Z key, and then you just move your mouse, basically. And then we're going to do the X here, and then we're going to flip it around with the Y. And then we're going to try to re-clip it on here, but we need to get it in that right spot. I think it's off a bit. Let's do it from here, because that might... Oh, no! You did exactly what we don't want you to do. Okay, and then Y here. There you go. A bit of a pain, huh? I think you have to do that. I don't think it has a snap on the module thing, no. I don't know if that's on it. I guess we can look. Yeah, okay, so that one is pretty close, but I think it's still off, yeah. But what makes it interesting is I just realized that one's off, so. And that's too off, isn't it, yet? Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully it works. I don't know for sure. I think it isn't on there, so that, that might be an issue. I think... What's what's this one? It'd be funny if I was off, but... Um, you are... That's a maneuver thruster. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am... I should be right on where I'm putting it on, but... Whether or not it works, who knows? Okay, let's put you on here. Okay, so this is going to give us errors. So what we can look at the errors is we can use the U key. You can go to blueprint here. And we can open this, and then you can see your errors. I'm actually not seeing any errors in here, to be fair. You can turn this on, too. I'm not the best at reading it, but this is not reading any kind of error here, to be fair. I mean, technically, it might be fine. I don't know. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's me salvaging uh, some stuff out of here. So I went and used this in easy build, obviously, and I added more of the, the modules, which we did originally. All I did was keep snapping them on. That welding tool is pretty badass for that. Like, I didn't do anything, obviously, but... So we'll know if this is working because um, my power, my battery usage shouldn't keep up. No, it's not working. 
Oh, here we go. We're getting a little bit of a lag there. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately it did not snap into place. So obviously that's the problem. So um, it, it, as long as you get them on the hard point correctly, as far as I know, you don't have to wire them up or anything like that. It should just work as is. But obviously that wasn't the case there because uh, uh, if it was, then we would have had it work in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off our transponders so we don't get uninvited company. And then we're just going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay. I don't, I don't think turning this on will fix that for that part anyways. But I think in this case, this is just... It's not mounted on the, the thing correctly, so... There's two sides to it, but I think they're on both sides, so I can't see it being a problem. Okay, let's let's go ahead and unbolt this then and see if what we can do. This is fun. This is one of those episodes where we're just learning and having fun with it, so. There we go. Let's put you in the air and see what's on the other side here. Yeah, so that that's what we were hooking up there. So you can see it needs to the, it needs to go there, and as far as I know, that's what this one's already on. So like as long as it can get into that, that should be all it needs, but getting it actually into that spot well that's that's the the issue obviously here so that works but wrong way but that's kind of cool um so we're gonna just do the c here c y uh crap and then x to flip it there you go and let's actually it's probably better just to let go to oh crap forgot that can happen we just put the snapping back on there but yeah <laughs> wait that looks it's still off unfortunately it's so damn close but as far as I know, it needs to snap on to that part, so I don't think that would actually work, unfortunately. I think it has to snap on that one particular spot. Let's just put it down for a second. What does this look like when it's over here? So, yeah, it needs to slightly, just slightly go over the thing here. So it has to go forward just slightly. Like, even that's probably pretty close, right? Yeah, I think that might be right on it. It's just now you got to not get it, you know. I think that just went over too much anyways, potentially, yeah. I don't think that'll work, to be fair. But, hey, let's try it out anyway. So let's bolt it down. Oh, see, that's why it unbolted the thing. So it's that, I guess, all the bolts got on lo loose there. The nice thing is they snap in there and then they stay in there. But obviously, you got to place them back in there. And that's what happens. So um, let's do the fuel rod here. I did a video, like a special video on this because obviously a lot of people were having issues with this. So I did make a video to help others. So here's your fuel rod. They don't need to be bolted in or anything. You just take them out. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and replace it with one of these fuel rods. So if you want to get rid of it, you can. We can actually craft uh, fuel and put it in the fuel rod rather than, you know, throwing it out. And just put it in there. Perfect. And then we're just going to go in here. I think the best way to do this, which I didn't do in my video, is probably doing this more sideways. And then there you go. And there's our fuel already done. Okay, so let's turn this back on here. And let's get our generator up. So what we're trying to do is basically we know it works when we're running three thrusters. We'll know that, you know, we can't keep up to it, obviously. And that's what we are hoping. <laughs> but I'm not sure if uh, we'll be able to do it here. I might do a cut and then see if I can get some help on that. But, hey, it's all a learning process. We're having fun with it. So let's see. 23 now? Yeah, there you go. Oh, my goodness. We're draining battery. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. We actually did it. I am so happy. Okay. So that works. It, it's off a wee bit, I think, but it, it's, it, it does work. That one's off a bit too, but it's less, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do now is unbolt. You can unbolt this one directly, right? So you can right click instead of unbolting it all. 
just tap it not you know actually hold it in any way and then that way we're not unbolting the whole thing there you go and then basically we're gonna bring this back slightly I guess hopefully I think that's too much at that point yeah I do think that's not gonna work there Oh, oh yeah, so that one. I mean, it's exactly pretty much that one. It's like, it literally does seem like that's exactly where it's supposed to be, but I don't think it's actually working. Well, you know what we could do? We can always turn it on and uh, see. I didn't think of that actually till now. We could always turn this on and then see what it does here. So let's turn this on. Uh, there you go. Let's give it the most minute amount of thrust. E, right? No, F. There you go. I don't know if that's even enough to get these guys going. Okay, here it is. Okay. So the top one is working. It's just the bottom one isn't working. Okay. So we did do it for the, 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 the one. So now it's just getting that last one there working. Okay, well that's good news. Do you think there's any damage with the uh, actual components here? I don't think so. I don't know if there is a way to even tell, but they look fine, so I'm guessing not. Those are bolted in, apparently. That's good. And those are, I mean, these are all the same way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I could always try to unbolt it all. And then move it around and maybe that would help it somehow. I don't I don't know. I'm just making that up at this point, but Oh wow, that's the whole shell. Yeah, honestly. It is it looks pretty damn close, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't, I, I would say that should work, but I'm guessing it's not going to work. Let's, let's bolt it in here. There we go. And there might be other reasons why. Maybe we're supposed to redo something, you know, slightly or. or F. Go. Yeah, she ain't firing up yet. Okay, well, we'll figure it out over time. I'm sure I'm sure something's wrong. I mean, it doesn't look like it probably touching that. The only other thing is I can flip it around. So give me a minute. I'll flip it around and see what I can do. Okay, so I figured out more on how it works, and uh, that's the good news, obviously. Um, but it's not working, obviously, the way I want it, but I do understand it a lot more now. So basically, the thrusters here have a certain level, uh, name to them, a name scheme here. So if we check this one, this thruster is 01. If we check down here, this one's thruster 6. Um, and then these ones, I scrubbed their names, I changed them around to play around with it. This one's thruster 91. And then the one down here is thruster 92. Now, you can't have thrusters that high, actually. So it's 92. But what it does tell me now is, is it connected to the system? And it actually isn't, not the uh, 92. So if we go to here and we hit U onto the flight computer, that's the flight computer here. Uh, if we scroll down here, you can see it goes up to 50. And these are hard coded. So these are the keys to them. You can't actually change these. That's fine. But if we scroll all the way down here, uh, actually it might be easier to type in 91, you can see here's our 91, but there's no 92. And that is the problem. 92 isn't showing up. For some reason, that bottom one is not connected correctly. So at least now I know that's the case. So uh, this one was default by two, uh, but you could set it to whatever you want, honestly. Um, I'm not sure what this one's set to, for example. Um, we gotta remove the filtering, obviously, here. Uh, this is uh, power eight, whatever, but you can share them too. So I could set this to, this was two and there were, the other one was six. So for example, I could set this to zero two, um, sorry, and this will fire again, uh, should fire basically. And there you go. Now it's kind of screwing up because probably I had it sideways, I'm guessing. 
it might not work right because of that. Yeah, I think it is uh, going sideways now. That might have been for the fact that I had labeled it wrong and then uh, put it there. So it should fix itself because zero two should be going forward. We might have to turn it on and off because it might not know what it's doing at this point. So let's go like that and turn it off. And then let's do it here. And then it should go straight now. No, it's still going sideways. So this is probably obviously uh, something to do with... Uh, <laughs> the keys or whatever so I think because these can turn slightly to the side I think it might be doing that are we still moving the side or did I slow it no I don't know maybe it is fine actually I don't know oh no there you go yeah it's all because of that big thruster there so it's it's a learning curve obviously you gotta learn and play with these um, but I'm guessing it's because I set the thing wrong over here so let's see what this one says here yeah you can see the key there I don't know if I can copy that or not to be fair so you have this one here. Let's see what happens if we copy and paste it. Oh, it does change it around. Interesting. So if we change this to thruster 6, will it uh, correct itself here? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's going forward now. There you go. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. That's, uh, yeah, so that's working. So anyways, the reason this one is not working down here now, we know for sure it's not connected. Why, why it's not connected, I actually don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm still off slightly, which more than likely is the case. You can see that, yeah, this one is off way more than that one. So it's more the case of it's probably off slightly. So I'll play around with that a bit more, but at least you understand how that works. I, I guess like each direction and everything has its own setup and the, the keys and stuff. I don't know how all that works per se that's where it gets confusing i know when i share the label i should be able to get it to go the same direction so that's the good news you know like now we can go ahead and you can hit control and then i can say okay i want to turn this and i can hit shift and i'm going to go straight that this way and i'm going to do a pretty decent speed here um you know with the extra thruster now but obviously i still haven't figured out how to uh get that uh that second new thruster working so i'll play around with it a bit more if it doesn't work it doesn't work um, but i'll have fun playing around with it and uh, we'll come back if uh, we got it or not i actually i think i got it it wasn't so hard i all i did was do it from the sideways and i just moved like this a wee bit with the uh, when i hit e and it moved like a notch which is probably enough for it to work so we're gonna re pin it all into here i think we got it and then uh we were doing six or, well, no, this was six. This one was six. Yeah, what was this one? Oh, that was thruster one, not thruster two. That's why. Okay, so let's put this one as thruster um, one and one. Might as well just match to that one for fun, right? Oh, no, that was six. You're one. Okay, and then you're six as well, I guess. Yeah. I don't think that part matters. I think in the system that's linked correctly, but I have a feeling this should work. So it was off by like a millimeter, basically. I didn't think I could get it that way, but I think I got it working that way. So there you go. I think we should be good now. Nope, not working. Darn it. And it looks pretty good now too, right? Like, I mean, it could maybe, I don't know. I don't think it could even go... I'm just sitting here. Yeah, I think it's uh, it might be able to go a millimeter more, but I don't know I think that would be pretty damn difficult. I think it's doing a pretty good job of being right on that dot So I mean we possibly can do it, but I'm not sure. Let's put it to six anyways Yeah, nothing's changing here. So it's it's not actually hooked up um, We could turn it on and off just to make sure but I don't think that will initialize it or anything It it seems like when I was playing with the other one and playing with all the numbers and stuff It seems to actively happen right away. So I assume that shouldn't cause an issue, but we can always we can always give it a try, right? Yeah, no, that's not working. Let's turn it off again. So that's fine. We're 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 learning. We're playing around with it. The snapping there, especially with the modules, I don't think is as easy or as um, you know as a newbie as well. It's not a, as simple, um, obviously. But there might be techniques to do this better. But uh, that's fine. We're learning. That's the beautiful part of a sandbox like this is we're learning and. If it happens to not be doing this correct, yeah, that's too much. I mean, sure, I can leave it there, but that that's, at that point, you can tell from right there, that's just too much. Like, that should be roughly, that, that looks like perfect almost. Actually, I think that might be better than what we just had it. See, that's the problem where the connecting, it's like, I wish I had a connector to connect to that connector kind of thing, like an option just to snap for that versus like the ship snapping. 
This has a durability error, huh? That's probably because it's not in the frame. How bad is it actually? Because durability errors is not a good idea. Oh, I see there's an orange issue here. So it's not connected to the frame correctly, or it is partially, I guess? No, I think it is partially connected, but yeah. I think that's what that orange, well, there's a lot of orange around it, so I could be wrong on that, but it is giving you a line, so I feel like that's telling me that something's up, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm learning, so. Okay, so let's go and see if this changed anything at this point, just for fun. No. No, we're not having luck with this. Maybe there's something else wrong with this, or who knows. Like, y you never know with these things. I'm, I try my best. It ain't working. I did flip it too, by the way, if you're wondering. I actually flipped it all around, like, um, to see if that could help. But uh, that didn't seem to make much of a difference. I think I'm actually getting pushed back by the thing yet. I was like, it's going too fast for me. It's going to run away. But it's me actually getting pushed back. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all good. Maybe I'll play around with it for a few more minutes. It doesn't hurt, right? Maybe I'll check some of the key binds, things like that. But um, besides that, I don't think there's much more I can do with that one thruster at this time. I got it working. I'm an idiot. So uh, first of all, I want to let you know if you turn snap off and adjust it right to the perfect spot and then bolt it in, it won't work. Um, what I did was I accidentally put an exclamation mark at the beginning. It wasn't named correctly on that one. You probably noticed it on the... It wasn't like that originally, so it was you know related to uh, having a different name. Well, actually, no. It was probably related to actually not snapping in right. But uh, in the end, it was all about snap. So basically, the only reason this bottom one wasn't working was because it wasn't snapping the right spot. Going from the side and moving it slightly was the key. Doing it manually didn't seem to work, but I had exclamation marks on the front of these because I was testing it because uh, I didn't know much about the data stuff and whatnot. So I was attempting to get it to work a bit better. And yeah, long story short, whoopsies, that was my fault. But you know what? Now it's working, so I'm really happy about that. So um, now what we have to do is we have to adjust our... Our ship to be able to um, power basically at max speed here obviously because it's gonna be a bit different now so you're gonna want to uh, fix that here so let's see here so right now our battery I mean obviously our battery is going down so we're gonna just stop so we can have that charge up we're gonna turn this off we're gonna go you and we're just gonna put it up a big number here like let's try 33 for example so let's go ahead and turn this on here and then uh, we'll start powering this up it, it'll obviously drain it probably by the time we can get it starting to charge, but at least then we can get an idea how much power we're looking at, so. And with two engines now, this should help us a lot. I kind of want to actually have it charge up a bit so we can kind of get the, the good idea of where it's going to go here. Slightly too under, okay. You might actually be able to, I think you can do this live, by the way. Yeah, you can do like this, so 35 for example. Not enough. 37. Oh, actually it might not do it live. I was hoping it would do it live, but I guess it doesn't do it live. No, it doesn't do it live. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop it and redo this one. So we're gonna set this to, well, it's so close, but we'll do 35, I guess. There you go. Exciting though. Nice to have uh, the extra oomph to this now. Now, of course, now with two, you know, two extra engines, you know, we're not, you know, we're going from 23 to potentially 35 here, which is still pretty good, obviously, but yeah, it looks like it's still under, so I would say go 37 then, potentially. So, yeah, let's do 37. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that on. There you go. 
Oh, I get it. The generator might be its output at the... Is that how... I, I'm not sure. Didn't let me override it anyways. So hopefully it'll work here in a second. So we're going to just let it go straight and see if it starts charging 35. There you go. It's charging. And if we go left and right, yeah, it's going to use some battery up a bit here. But almost keeping it proper and then it's enough to charge it up. Yep. So 37 is the way to go with the four thrusters. Awesome. Okay. So that's that's badass, isn't it? That's uh, So we got efficiency there. And uh, yeah, we got new thrusters here. So when I go and get a larger load now of uh, ore, it's going to move a lot faster, which is going to be a very nice, nice, nice thing. So let me show you how to fill up your propellant because that's actually a pretty important one here. And uh, obviously without being able to fill up your propellant, you're going to have some issues, right? So let's uh, go ahead and do this. And there's one of these in the easy build too. So if you need to, uh, you know, fill up at the easy build, you can do it there. Let's just go closer here. There you go. I always drift too far. It's like I need better brakes. I guess forward thrusts or whatever to slow it down. There you go. So what we can do here, it's pretty cool. So we're just going to go here and attach it from here. And then we're just going to go ahead and attach it to here. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the buy all here. And it's it's pretty cheap, but you can see the connected uh, propellant here anyways. We're going to hit buy and now it's full. And if you're interested in how much you know you just spent obviously on the propellant here, you can go to your inventory here and we can go to CV. Um, I think it's CV. Yeah, here it is. And you can see how much you got for that. So it cost us only 1226 and this is only the second time ever I filled this up and I've uh, used this quite a bit and wasted quite a bit of stuff on it. So uh, just to give you an idea, it's it's a pretty good, uh, a fair price on that. And then we can disappear. I guess we'll just randomly t untether off here. I guess you can hit F on here and retether on here too. There you go. And there we have it, my friends. So my ship's a little faster. We don't have a speedometer, unfortunately, but uh, obviously now our ship's going to be a little bit faster. And uh, when we have a lot more cargo uh, as well, it'll be a bit more uh, faster as well, which is great. So it gives us the ability to uh, go out there and mine a little bit better. So yeah, so in total we have, if you haven't noticed, uh, uh, we have 40 uh, crates in total now on here, which is pretty cool. And I'm really happy about that. And all I did was the easy build, and I just kept snapping them on there. And obviously, it's been working really well. Um, when I replaced the second, this one down again, I didn't see the damage thing again. So I think I had it before. Yeah, it hasn't. Usually by now, it would pop up again with the error. So yeah, we're not having any issues anymore with that. So um, I'm really happy with that. I, I like that. I'll take maybe a picture here. Do I want a picture? I could always take a picture. There you go. Might be for the video. I don't always do uh, a special uh, one for each of them, but maybe it wouldn't hurt to do that for once. But, but yeah, so if you didn't know, by the way, you can run around your ship and everything. When you're hosting it, it works really well. It's really smooth. You can you can have fun with it. Uh, the tethering system, basically, it lets you resnap back to the ship. Uh, but obviously, keep in mind when you have friends and they're you're hosting or they're hosting whatever um, you might end up falling off or they might fall off easier um, but they should snap back anyways but uh, it does get a bit more bumpier and rougher of a ride so uh, just keep that in mind but uh, yeah I'm really happy about that that actually worked which I'm really happy about now I didn't think these had the resource sharing ports but they're there there are these ones I don't know if they can share or if that's just like the modular snap so like it's either or kind of thing um, I'm not quite sure on that to be fair so but I'm amazed these actually work anyways, so. Very cool. Might as well go into an asteroid belt and do a wee bit of mining and show you. So yeah, if we're tethered, right? Yeah, so if we open our inventory here, you can see like all the space now. It's really nice. And then don't forget, you always have your extra two sitting here. We're at 500K uh, credits, which wasn't too bad. You know, I sold some more ores, sold some on the auction house. Uh, did a wee bit of crafting. So if we check our crafting here, um, they added more tooltips and information here now. So if we go up here, basically I got down to the fuel rod 
so I can make the fuel rods. And the fuel rods are really easy. I was going to show you that actually about the fuel rods here. So um, power. Yeah, here it is. So there's different recipes. Obviously, we're not at the station, but basically this is your tier one fuel rod here. This is your full fuel rod. So pretty much here you can see that it costs a bit more because it has the Nugrite, uh, Nugrite, Nugrite, Nugrite. Um, everything else should be about the same, I believe. Um, it's just it adds 83 uh, of that into it because that's part of the recipe. And then if you have an empty one here, so um, this is a refill, so it's completely empty. Literally all it is is 83 again. And then so you can reuse the fuel one. So they're pretty good. But the recipe for the, for the empty one already is almost next to nothing. 34, 69, and 34. So you have to remember, I think almost all the stacks are like 17 something, like 1700. So you get one stack of all those and then pretty much you're able to make quite a bit of fuel cells. It's, it's the, the fuel, like the power one itself will have the least of it. So you have to, you know, work a bit more on that, but you get the idea. I'm really happy we, we got that working though. Hopefully you guys didn't go insane. Um, the snapping and learning all that. And now we know we have to have those thruster names, you know, between uh, the one in, uh, I th it's either one or uh, zero uh, to 50. Uh, set correctly so that's kind of important obviously but um, you know what it actually works so I'm really happy about that so we came from 16 right oh yeah so we should definitely be like able to see ores I think we might have gone into the oh yeah here's some here let's put my transponder on so my own people can find me though somebody was claiming that they can see other players I think they only see us but they said they were gold I've played with all my settings. I've never been able to see anyone else, so I'm not sure how they're doing that. Let's use our lighter. Maybe it's already on. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, sometimes when I get out here, it doesn't let me... And then you can just... There you go. Swing once out, and then it does it. Sometimes the right click doesn't work. You have to, like, left click first, and then it works. But yeah, surprisingly, the server has been pretty stable. Um, I've been really happy with things. You know, after the first episode, it was a bit messy, but I was able to play for a few hours uh, after that episode, so the first episode, and I didn't really experience too much issues, especially after learning the easy build and, you know, maybe spawning your ship there rather than, you know, driving it in and things like that. Um, I've been actually pretty good. I've been, I've been enjoying the game, obviously. Uh, and that's good. The Valkyte, I think, is the least bought ore at this point. Is it the Valkyte? Oh yeah, the 500, yeah, and then ice is 600. So if you don't want to waste your time with crappy ores, honestly, just don't even bother with it at this point. Um, you, I mean, obviously you might need it for some stuff, but I think I already have a bunch, and it's, it's getting to the point where you know you want that nougat center bit instead. So it's up to you. But uh, yeah, a big part of the game is going to be mining, obviously, as you guys know at first. Uh, I believe to leave the safe zone, we will have to build or buy a new ship later on. Uh, you can't use this ship to get out there, so keep that in mind. Okay. Ow. That's rude. Let's go out here. So the, the, the red stuff here, this is that, yeah, the Charta, whatever one. These are pretty decent price they can go for. I think people will pay, you know, 4 or 5k per stack of that. Um, so it just gives you an idea. You can, uh, you know, earn a pretty penny very quickly out here. And then the thing is you, you can find, like, asteroids are all different sizes. So you can find an asteroid where you can spend, like, literally a half an hour mining the damn thing. Maybe not quite a half an hour, but uh, it, it can last quite a bit. And uh, that's pretty exciting. So what people do eventually is they go out with a fleet of, you know, with a group of people and they basically start to go out there and they just kind of look for larger asteroids and then they stop at them and then they mine them for like 20 minutes, which I think is pretty cool. These ones are pretty tiny, but it's hit and miss. Some people will go out further. I mean, it's just a bit of extra fuel and because you're in the safe zone, it's not like you're going to die or anything. So... Um, it kind of makes sense almost to just, you know, why not? Why not go out there and just, uh, you know, go for it. There we go. So you can see that this one was the, uh, yeah, the Vorkrium or whatever one. 
so it's on the lower side of you know value but it's it's compared to the, the some of the outer shell ones it's not that bad so and they're based on the the looks of them too this one looks big but it might just be close by let's check it out oh i think she might be a bit bigger Oh, this one's already been mined out anyways. Wait, is that the one I was just at? Oh, I might have just even been at that. That's the problem. If you don't go one way and you start, you know, going backwards without realizing it, you might end up uh, going into a loop. It's best to maybe drive one way and then just keep going. I don't know how the far the tether goes. It's pretty big. Because the idea is you can drive a big ship and be able to, you know, have a few people go out. And, you know, an asteroid could be quite large, so the tether has to be somewhat of a decent size. And ice is pretty useless, too, so you could throw that out if you don't want it. So this is a decent one here. This is one of those ones that I was telling you about. Like, they get bigger and bigger. Like, I mean, this is not the best one of them. <laughs> this is quite amateur size, but, like, the point is it has like, way more rocks than some of the other ones we just saw. And that's the cool part. That's the fun part. Awesome. That one was uh, that was a really nice one. So, good example of uh, of it working really well, which is pretty cool. So, anyways, my friends, yes, yeah, so I'll just keep mining here, and uh, I'm gonna bring them back to the station, things like that, and I'll probably do some uh, you know crafting on the side. They did add uh, containers to be able to get some of that lightning research on them. So if we go to H here, and then uh, we go, well, I have other things I can make. I guess the basic fuel rod stuff here. Did they add? These kind of suck. I don't know why they're three. But uh, if we go to um, cargo here, uh, yeah, just the basic mar modular cargos here now. They uh, they give you eight of the lightning thing, eight of the gear, and 28 of the box. So they, they went ahead and adjusted those, and they'll probably do some more adjustments as time goes on too, which is great. But... Um, I'm kind of happy about that. So, Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.